Hey guys, so as you can see, I washed my longest hair one last time. I try to wash it twice a week, but I always end up washing it just like once a week. It was a struggle to wash it because the problem with my hair is that since it's so thin and like my hair is naturally straight, so it takes me like a while to like detangle it. I mean, before it used to take me a really, really long time, but I learned this trick. I don't know if I'm really late with this, but like you're supposed to untangle the bottom first. So let's say I'll pull through, right? Usually through here, there's not really knots. I'll pull through here. I'll get stuck here with the knots or whatever. And then you comb under the knot. So like if the knot is here, you would comb right under the knot and then you keep combing it till it gets to the bottom. And that re reduces the amount of hair that you lose while untangling your hair. Yeah, it took me like probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes to wash my hair today. It's usually what it takes me. I actually like when my hair is wet like this. I feel like it just looks so nice. So I can't wait till like when it's cut to see how it's gonna look and all that. Just gonna let my hair out. So yeah, this is the length of my hair. It is super long as you would see why I would want to cut it. I've been growing my hair since about 10th grade, two years back more or less because i had cut it up to like you know where your ball strap ends different for everyone of course but all right cut it around here so this much has been growing the past two years more or less i'm just ready to cut it Hi guys, so I'm currently walking to the train to go to this summer program. Um, my hair is still here, still long. Got my coffee. This is day one. Oh, I'm in the bathroom of Cornell Tech. Here, admiring the last days of my hair. Bruh, bruh. Hi guys, today is officially the last day of my program. I'm hoping to cut my hair tomorrow because I can't cut it today. I can't cut it today because I have to go somewhere after the program. I'm in the campus now. And as you can see, so some construction. It's raining still. Yeah, Two minutes later. It's been well over a month since I cut my hair, and this is what it looks like. Um, if you ask me, I feel like it's been growing. Like it just looks way longer to me. 
I don't know, I feel like it was like up to here and now it just grew all of this. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but my hair definitely feels longer. And I'm happy about that because I'm happy that it's actually going. I do plan on cutting it more, but not right now. Maybe like in a couple more months, I plan on cutting it like again, like probably like up to here. I never really got to explain why I wanted to cut my hair, but mostly it's because mostly it was because my hair was just way too long i was tired of it like i've been growing it for too long like i was just over it like i just needed something new in my life i was tired of washing my hair it would take me so long like i mentioned before it would take me so long to wash my hair it was just so annoying like i was just over it like i was just like that's it like i need to just cut my hair off i didn't really get to like record this video the way i wanted to record it but that's because i was just so excited about cutting my hair like i just wanted to cut it and get it over with so i let my hair dry so i could show you what it looks like in a ponytail oh so she left me tired So yeah, this is what happens when I tie my hair. The little pieces of hair from the back come out, which is why I rarely do any ponytails. I feel like now that I cut my hair, I just have so much damn hair. Like, where does it all come from? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Toodles.